What weather conditions should we be preparing for? What's the relationship between warming ocean surface temperatures and hurricanes, tornadoes, and other severe weather? How much of our atmosphere contains pollutants and other dangerous airborne particles? Scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, believe that a new satellite will bring them closer to answering these and other questions that will impact our lives today and tomorrow. Americans nowadays really count on having weather forecasts that cover 72 hours and further in advance to help them plan their day, plan their businesses, plan the lives of their family. NOAA's weather satellites provide an absolutely critical stream of data to feed the computer models that generate all of those forecasts. We have two types of satellites we depend on, a geostationary that uh, rotates around the world at roughly equatorial latitudes, and the polar orbiting satellites go up over the poles orbiting closer to the Earth. And the closer you are, the more detail you can get, the finer the resolution of the information. The nation's newest polar orbiting satellite, NPP, will operate 512 miles above Earth, circling the globe every 102 minutes, taking images and measurements to help track atmospheric changes that can lead to tropical storms, floods, blizzards, and potentially deadly tornadoes. The NPP satellite will do two really very critical things for us. The instruments that it carries uh, will provide richer, more accurate, more precise data streams. And secondly, they will provide a vital bridge between our current NOAA satellite series and the long-term replacement called the Joint Polar Satellite System. While NPP is being flown primarily as a NASA research mission, NOAA will use the data it collects. NOAA and NASA have literally worked for many decades um, in partnership to provide the nation's satellite weather capability. And NPP continues this long tradition. From their satellite operations facility in Suitland, Maryland, NOAA will process and distribute data from NPP to the National Weather Service and other users around the world. In the case of the tornadoes that hit the southern tier or flood, coastal flooding situations, America needs as much time to prepare as possible. So uh, these satellites provide information that are used by sophisticated scientific models that look out over the horizon three to five, seven to ten days into the future. In addition to its core mission of weather and climate observations, NPP will track ash plumes from volcanic eruptions help emergency responders fight wildfires, monitor changes in Arctic sea ice and the ozone hole, track changes in the abundance and productivity of phytoplankton, and monitor water quality. The bottom line is NPP is a big deal. Missions like NPP are absolutely critical to inform the public about what's coming down the pike and how to plan for it appropriately. NOAA's polar orbiting satellites have been successfully monitoring the Earth for more than 50 years and will continue to do so long into the future. The ultimate goal of the mission is to protect property and save lives. I had the opportunity to get out to Joplin, Missouri just a few days after the tornadoes ran through there. And a woman came way out of her way. She took my hand in, in both of her hands and thanked me for NOAA warnings that gave her minutes, many minutes, uh, to get out of her apartment. You only need one of those moments to really remind you of the importance of the NOAA mission and also the real passion and dedication that NOAA associates bring to the job.